So I've been asked to uh, tell a little story about my beginnings as a professional riding coach. My training of other riders actually started in uh, 1976, in uh, October of 1976, and uh, a friend of mine suggested that I help other riders because I'd had a bit of success in uh, club racing and actually uh, started a professional career racing superbikes and did pretty good right out of the box, which was quite a, quite cool. And uh, I started the thing called the Keep the Code Rider Improvement Program, and it was a two-day course. And I had written up uh, about eight or ten pages of of things that had that had helped me that I thought might help other people. And so the first day was actually study, where the the student would come. It was one-on-one. -on -one. Student would come and we would go through the material that I had written up. I wasn't a terribly good writer, uh, perhaps at the time, but it, it it did communicate. And the second day was at the track, and usually we would go out to Willow Springs because it was I think it cost twenty dollars a day or twenty-five dollars a day to practice out here. And uh, at the big track next door, this this track at the streets wasn't there, but uh, the uh, the, most of the students I had at that time were club racers running in the Southern California AFM, and we had so we had a good good uh, baseline. You know, they had they had uh, ridden at the various tracks and so on, and uh, it was it was kind of cool. After I had run about a dozen guys through it, uh, I started looking at their their uh, lap times after I had worked with them and. It was great because uh, out of uh, these dozen guys, there was an average of seven seconds improvement per lap, and uh, at, at uh, where were we? At Ontario Motor Speedway, which is unfortunately not there now anymore. But so that really kind of inspired me, and I was I myself was trying to learn more at at the time because uh, I really knew that I didn't have a full understanding of what road racing was all about, even though I was doing it as a superbike pro. So. That uh, that that program went on for till through 1979 when I also retired from uh, pro racing, and the, the the next year I started the California Superbike School. In 1980, we ran the first one at Riverside Raceway in the spring of 1980, and later in that year uh, we had a good relationship with Kawasaki. At that time, we were using Kawasaki bikes, and Kawasaki was very very strong at the time with. Uh, they understood what I was trying to do with a, with a track riding school because there were no other uh, specifically schools. There were there were kind of uh, introductions into into road racing at the time. Uh, I think there were a couple of guys back east that were that were actually were doing some things, but uh, there was certainly nothing on the west coast. So uh, as as I was training, the uh, Kawasaki had a couple of guys that they wanted to bring along. One of them was Wayne Rainey, and he had been racing dirt track, uh, short track, on a, a Kawasaki 250 short track bike, and he was doing pretty good. And there were a couple of guys down at Kawasaki at that time that wanted to see if he had any potential as a road racer. And at that time, Eddie Lawson was already uh, their their prime road race guy, and uh, Wayne was uh, had not road raced at all. So I made a proposition to, the, to Kawasaki and said, OK, uh, uh, if you guys pay me, I'll train this guy. And as far as I know, nobody in America had ever gotten a, a factory to pay for any training for, for a motorcycle racer at that time. And I still have never heard of it. So it was, was kind of cool. I thought it was, was sort of fun. Wayne and I got together. And uh, I, I ran him through the same program that I had run the other guys through. And then we got a bike from Kawasaki, it was a KZ750, and we started doing some club racing. And we went to quite a few club races. And Wayne, uh, Wayne was doing, he did really, really well right away. And in fact, uh, we were, so we were into 1981. In the middle of that year, Kawasaki said, OK, uh, I'm doing really good in club racing, winning races, and so on. So they came up with one of their old KR250cc uh, two-stroke bikes. And the, 250 class was all two strokes at that time, and Wayne went to Loudon and he uh, as a as a novice and he won the race and uh, it was uh, they decided that they were going to hire him for Superbike and of course everything everything from from there on out he won the uh, championship in '83 and uh, you know, went back and forth to uh, Europe 
once in 84, came back to the United States, won another Superbike championship, and then off to Europe and his three world championships. So I was very proud to, to see uh, some of my work go forward into you know, world championships and uh, maintain uh, you know, uh, friendship with Wayne through all these years. And of course now he's, he's the hero of American road racing with his Moto America. So uh, I'm very proud of, uh, of all those things and, and the contributions that, uh, that he actually made for, for me because he was a big a challenge uh, to, uh, to train. And I learned, I learned really a lot. I've learned a lot from, from all of our students. We keep on learning, in fact. So uh, that's a little uh, quick story about uh, Keith Coden, Wayne Rainey, and, and his beginning in road racing.